Look at what showed that y is equal to ln x plus d over x, where c is just a constant. This equation is a solution to the differential equation that we have x squared times y prime plus xy is equal to 1. Well, because this differential equation right here involves the first derivative, so we must come with the first derivative here, and then we have two ways to do that. One, the y is already isolated. We can do this by explicit differentiation, meaning we just use the quotient rule on the right-hand side. And then you know, differentiate that, whichever result that we got, plug into here. Right, that's one way. However, we don't like to do that because this quotient rule is not going to be that pretty. So this is what we can do. How about let's not look at this as a quotient. We can do that by multiplying both sides by x. So we can multiply x here and multiply x here. So they cancel. And then I have x times y equals to ln x plus c. And then what we can do is look at this equation. But then the y is not being isolated. So we can do implicit differentiation. So I will just put d dx across the equation to mean that we are taking the derivative of this equation implicitly. OK, on the left hand side, we have x times y. So we have to use the product rule. We keep the first times the derivative second. And the derivative second is exactly y prime. So we have y prime right here. And then we add the second, which is y, times the derivative first. The derivative of x is just 1. So that's it. And this is equal to, and now we have to differentiate ln x with respect to x. So we just have 1 over x. And then what's c? It's a constant, right? If you differentiate a constant, it's bye-bye. And now what? It looks very similar, isn't it? So what we can do is look at this, and we have 1 over x. How about let's just multiply everything by x? So that, you know, make sure that right here I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just multiplying everything by x. On the first part here, we have x squared times y prime plus the y times 1 is just y times x. We can put the x first. So we have xy. And then x times 1 over x is just equal to 1. And you see, this is exactly the differential equation that we have.